Uh, my name is Tracy Cruz and I'm with Oregon Sea Grant and I manage the marine education programs at uh, Oregon State University's Hatfield Marine Science Center which is in Newport and I am also the director for the Oregon Coast STEM Hub. So one of the things that we do every year is we uh, run the Oregon Regional MATE ROV competition. MATE stands for Marine Advanced Technology Education Center which is actually located in California and they have 31 regionals that they support that feed into an international competition that they run. And uh, ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle, which essentially are underwater robots. So ROVs are used for a lot of things. They're used for laying fiber optic cable and servicing underwater oil structures. They are used for archaeology and locating and retrieving um, things from shipwrecks and downed airplanes, which is what we're talking about today at the competition. And they are also used by researchers to monitor things like our uh, renewable energy sites, our wave energy test sites that we are uh, doing here off of Oregon. So they can go down and they can map the areas, they can see what's living down there, collect that information so that over time we can monitor and see what kind of changes are occurring. We have over 40 teams here today from elementary through high school and we even have a couple of college level teams uh, that are here to demonstrate their robots today and the top teams from the Ranger group as well as Explorer teams, the college level teams that managed to qualify for the international competition will be going to Federal Way Washington at the end of June where the international competition is and they'll compete with over 60 different teams from around the world. So places like Scotland and Egypt and Russia and just from all over. It's upside, it's upside down right now because the claw sticks out the bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get it. <laughs>